is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for October 25th, 2023. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. Green Day released the new single, The American Dream is Killing Me, announcing that it's the first single from their upcoming new album, the band's 14th studio album, Saviors, set for release on January 19th. Green Day also performed another new song, Look Ma No Brains, last weekend at the When We Were Young Fest in Vegas. There are also going to be several exclusive vinyl versions of Saviors available, including Neon Pink, with neon green splatter and black ice with hot pink splatter with most in very limited supply and pressed only once. The American Dream is Killing Me was one of the last tracks written and recorded by the band, saying, quote, as soon as we cut it, we said, okay, that's going to be first. Billy Joe Armstrong describing the new song as, quote, a look at the way the traditional American dream doesn't work for a lot of people. In fact, it's hurting a lot of people. Duran Duran have shared another preview of their upcoming Halloween-themed album, Dance Macabre, set for release this Friday. It's a cover of the Talking Heads' Psycho Killer with a guest appearance from Victoria DeAngelis of Monoskin. In the press release, DeAngelis said that the Talking Heads' Tina Weymouth was one of her biggest influences when she began playing bass. John Taylor said that DeAngelis is probably the most important electric bassist out there right now. I met a couple of the guys from Monoskin at a party and they said, you've got to meet our bass player. She's such a dynamo. And I was like, what inspired you? And Vic said, Tina Weymouth. So when Psycho Killer made the cut for the album, I thought, I'm going to ask her if she'd have a bass off. System of a Down frontman Serge Tankian has announced his first ever memoir, Down with the System set for release on May 14th, being published by Hatchet Books. It's available for pre-order now. Serge saying, I had a blast working on this accidentally hatched philosophical memoir as it's given me the unique opportunity to dive deep into my family history, my own motivations from a young age, and lessons I didn't know that I had learned. Longtime Smashing Pumpkins guitarist Jeff Schroeder has announced his departure from the band. The 49-year-old, who's been playing with the Pumpkins for the past 16 years, released a statement via the band's social media saying, quote, it's easy to say now that when I joined the Smashing Pumpkins in 07, I had no idea what I was getting into. The opportunities seem to have come out of nowhere. The amount of incredible memories created over the last 16 years with the band are almost too numerous to quantify. I've decided to leave the band to make some space to explore a slightly different path. I want to thank Billy, Jimmy, James, and Jack for being both wonderful bandmates and even better friends. I will absolutely miss sharing the stage with you. I wish the band all the success in the future. I'll be watching and listening. Clive Davis says his planned documentary will take viewers inside his pre-Grammy party, Music's Hottest Ticket. He continued, I'm working with film and TV producers, Jesse Collins and Rob Ford and others to go through the history of our pre-Grammy gala. And we're going to put a documentary together and propose it to Netflix and Paramount+. Plus. Congratulations to Francis Bean Cobain. Kurt Cobain's daughter married Tony Hawk's son, Riley Hawk, on October 7th. TMZ reported that they got their marriage license back in September. The couple's marriage certificate says they got married on October 7th, and REM frontman Michael Stipe performed the service. Michael Stipe is also Francis's godfather. Her godmother is Drew Barrymore. Julian's Auctions is proudly presenting the collection of Dusty Hill of ZZ Top. A three-day auction event honoring the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame bass legend of one of the best-selling acts and biggest touring bands of all time. The auction will feature nearly 1,200 lots showcasing the rock icon's spectacular, one-of-a-kind instruments, custom-made Western-style wardrobe on stage, and in appearances, gear, creative documents, signature-style items such as his favorite cowboy hats, boots, and buckles, memorabilia, and more from his groundbreaking five-decade career. A portion of the auction proceeds will benefit Music Cares and their mission to help the humans behind the music because music gives so much to the world. And three out of the five members of Avenged Sevenfold are continuing their Halloween tradition of covering a Misfits song. 
Zacky Vengeance, Johnny Christ, and Brooks Wackerman this year covered the 1982 track Astro Zombies. Metallica's James Hetfield will sign copies of the book Messengers, the Guitars of James Hetfield, coming up on Saturday, November 4th in St. Louis, Missouri. In the 400-page book, Hetfield sharing his personal collection of treasured guitars and reveals the story and significance of each one within his life and career as the frontman, guitarist, and songwriter for Metallica. And speaking of guitars, Sammy Hagar has once again weighed in on a proposed all-star Van Halen tribute concert, saying that he is so disappointed that the event never materialized. Saying, quote, as far as a tribute goes, I'm so disappointed how they've handled everything, including when I left the band, what they did and that. I don't know the dysfunction in that band. When I was in the band the first nine years, we got along like freaking brothers and sisters. We were all happy together and one big family. Things went wrong. Drugs and alcohol are a bad thing when it turns ugly and it's never been the same. And for them to not have done something for Eddie Van Halen, the greatest guitar player in the world, the greatest rock musician, I'm telling you, it's ugly, but it's not my job. And Heart of Announce, their first live show in more than four years, the band, led by Ann and Nancy Wilson, will perform a hometown show at Seattle's Climate Pledge Arena on New Year's Eve with support from Jason Bonham's Led Zeppelin Evening. Tickets go on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 177 featuring Ron Bumblefoot Thal is available now. The United States Border Patrol has exciting and rewarding career opportunities with the nation's largest law enforcement organization. Earn great pay with outstanding federal benefits and up to $20,000 in recruitment incentives. Learn more online at cbp.gov slash careers slash USBP. Hey folks, Stephen Shirazi and Renee Richardson here from the Metallica Report. And we are proud members of the Pantheon podcast family, where the best of music and podcasts unite. We've got something pretty cool for you. We're giving away an exclusive Metallica merch package worth over $250. That's a whole lot of scary guys, skulls, M72, and other sought-after Metallica swag. And we've made it easy for you to win. Follow and share the Metallica report, and you're in the game. Go to pantheonpodcast.com slash Metallica, enter your email, and hit that button to be entered to win. And just like that, you're eligible for our monthly exclusive Metallica merch package. And guess what, rockers? You can enter every month. So just do it. And while we love our global brothers and sisters, the lawyers won't let us ship outside the U.S.